Let's head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this one the, about Baker Mayfield. Dave, I would like to comment on the time Baker Mayfield has been a Cleveland Brown. As a player, I have been a big supporter of his because of the effort he has displayed as an athlete. He has taken his ability to the limit and beyond, and this I commend him for that. Now, on to the negative Baker. He did not think first before he spoke, which got him into a lot of trouble, starting back with the Duke Johnson situation. And Baker, as a teammate and leader at quarterback, threw him under the bus. So in closing, Baker and the Browns have burnt too many bridges. So all this must end now, and both sides need to take the high road and get a separation resolved. Even it means both sides take a big hit financially. Then and only then can both sides get back to playing football. And now with Clowney signing, let's concentrate on a Super Bowl run. As always, appreciate all the voicemails. Casey, um, something just uh, occurred to me. Until the last season, um, Baker was a guy whose teammates really wanted to play for him. And then it's almost like he kind of... I don't want to say he lost the locker room, but he lost a section of the locker room. Yeah, I think it's an old adage, like, be who you can afford to be. And Baker, given his play last season, couldn't afford to be the guy that he was being with how vocal he was being about certain things. And I agree with the caller. Like, you know, he did on the field. He gave everything he had. You know, that's very admirable. But there's there's always that extra thing with Baker. And like you either love him or you hate him. Like he's very he's very polarizing in that respect. And when the when the locker rooms turned away from him, that was a big sign that things you know weren't going to be able to be mended quite so easily. 